This is part two of my alarm project to send an SMS when a, when a door or box is, is opened. And uh, you can check out part one up there for some, some background on how we came to develop this project. Uh, but now I just did a demonstration of it uh, working. So in my treasure chest I have uh, some precious things which I need to be alarmed if it's, if it's opened. Uh, on the Arduino Pro Mini here um, it'll switch the LED on when the alarm is activated and send the SMS via the, uh, the M590 module. So let's check it out. You can see the precious things and we get the alarm indication and a message on the phone. Trouble at mill indeed. So let's assume that we've gone out and checked the uh, the box, checked the doors on the whatever it is that we're protecting, close that up again and send the command to rearm it. And after a few seconds it receives the message. The alarm indication goes out and the system is rearmed. So if we trigger it again we get our, our other message that there's, uh, there's trouble and once again we can rearm that. I'm not going to uh, shut the box up at, on this occasion. Let's just see what happens. So the system is rearmed and now if the box is closed it will trigger it once again. And finally we can reset it again and the system is reset. Now let's um, take a look at how I developed this uh, this project, uh, take a look at the uh, Arduino Pro Mini and the code which is uh, running on it. For this project I'm going to be using this little Arduino uh, Pro Mini clone and uh, as always there are links in the description uh, which you can find down there uh, to uh, where to, to purchase these devices. And this is a good match for our FTDI uh, USB programmer, well, USB serial adapter, which we use to program from the Arduino IDE. So this is a 3.3 volt unit, and so is this. So once we have the, uh, the connection attached there, then we can simply plug this in. Uh, remembering that on this device, we need also to connect the uh, DTR pin, because that's the pin that's used to signal when the device is programmed. So we'll have our, our DTR on there, our receive and, and transmit power and ground. Uh, the red one's not in use on this particular device. So we'll get this, um, get the headers soldered on. This little board has more than enough inputs and outputs to be able to control our device and connect uh, various sensors. Um, for this example I'm only going to be using a little micro switch but obviously there are numerous sensors that you can get. This is a little mercury uh, tilt switch and there are various others. Um, you can buy a pack of uh, I think it's 37 different sensors very uh, economically and uh, you can have a lot of fun with, with those and uh, They'll suit many, many different projects. Another handy hint if you're soldering the headers on is just to pop them into the breadboard there. That keeps it firmly in place while you can solder. Here's our test configuration wired up. Um, the FTDI serial interface. As I said, we have the DTR receive and transmit and power. Now the power is only applied to the board when you're programming it. Um, once you've programmed it, you remove the power pin, you can use the serial monitor via the, the cable there, but it will be powered by this little power supply over, over here because the M590 unit um, can draw up as much as two amps um, when it's uh, connecting to the GSM network and receiving and transmitting its messages. The M590 board 
receive and transmit are connected to pins 10 and 11 on the Arduino and I've set that up as a, as a, a software serial port. The hardware serial port is being used um, to monitor. The other connection here is to plus 5 volts and then there's a 10k ohm resistor to, to ground to pin 2 which is the input for the little micro switch here in the top of the box. So that obviously would normally be depressed which is uh, going to be high and when the door is opened, the box is opened, then that will go low and trigger an interrupt on the Arduino to run our code. Without further ado, let's move over to the computer and take a look at the sketch. The sketch begins with uh, including the software serial and then we go on to define the receive and transmit pins for the M590 on the Arduino, as we saw 10 and 11. Um, then we set up some things to uh, set the uh, alarm switch conditions and what's going to be the switch state. Uh, we'll, we'll see what that, all that means. Uh, also for reading the characters from the serial port, uh, set up a string to hold the message and we input our master control phone number as we don't want the unit to be messed around with by uh, receiving calls from any other any other source. Then we go into our setup routine. So we give it a delay to wait for the M590 to, to wake up and connect to the network. And I found that the, the default um, bubble rate for the M590 was, uh, was too high. Uh, so uh, before I had set it up to 9600, but 19200 seems to be a, a good speed for that. And we enable our serial port output for uh, debugging purposes. Define our pin modes for the alarm switch input and the LED output, uh, just the LED built in on the board. And uh, attaching our interrupt. Uh, some people were afraid of using interrupts. Obviously the interrupt, as its name would indicate, interrupts the main uh, loop function. So anything that you put in an interrupt routine, the so-called ISR or interrupt service routine needs to be as short as possible and cannot include anything like delays or, or, or setting other variables, but we'll, we'll take a look at that. Now we begin to uh, set up the M590 itself and we need to set its SMS mode uh, to text and then make sure that the character set is uh, for GSM. This command here just means that um, the M590 will automatically um, output via its serial port, the any, any received uh, text messages. And if there's anything hanging around from before, we'll just delete everything as a safeguard and print that we're ready onto the serial monitor. Looking now at the loop function, the first thing that we do is to check the alarm state to see if it's been triggered. And if it has, we send our, our trouble at mill uh, SMS and we update our alarm state to uh, so that we know that it's been triggered. Then the next part of the loop is simply checking to see if any text messages have been received. Um, if they have been received then they get read into the message string that we, we set up and finally we output that to the monitor so that we can at least visually see uh, what it is. Having received the message, we want to know if it's an SMS. So we look at the string and search it for plus CMT, which indicates that it is an SMS. We then check that it's from our master phone number. We don't want any spurious calls upsetting it. If it is the master SMS, we then check to see if it contains our rearm message. And if it does, we turn off the LED, uh, reset the message to zero, 
and delete the text. Update our alarm state. Now, this is an interesting one. This had me going for, uh, for at least a day. When I originally reattached the interrupt, it would trigger again immediately. And I couldn't for the life of me work out why, because the, the, the switch wasn't being uh, moved. And what it is, it seems to be a peculiarity um, with this particular Arduino using the Atmega 328 chip. If anything happens on the interrupt pin, it will buffer that interrupt. So the next time that the interrupt is attached, um, it, it thinks that something has happened when it hasn't. So I found this, this command by uh, our old friend Google. This simply clears the interrupt buffer so that we're starting with a, with a clean slate, as it were. So we then reattach our interrupt uh, on the falling edge and we print out to our, our debug port the uh, rearm message. If it wasn't the master SMS, then we just ignore it. Our alarm void, which is triggered by the interrupt, we write and turn the LED on to indicate the alarm. We reset the alarm state and we print alarm triggered to the monitor. And then I detach the interrupt so that nothing else is going to disturb it until it's rearmed. Finally, we have our void to send our text message. So again, we set up our phone number, um, not forgetting to include the, the country code there, put in our text message and terminate it with the ASCII code 26, which is uh, end of file, I think, and just indicate to ourselves the alarm's been sent. Let's get this um, sketch uploaded now to the module and test it. With the serial board connected now to the Arduino and powering it just for the purposes of, of programming, we can go to the computer and just double check that we have things set up correctly. So it's set up for the correct type of, of board, the Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. Um, we know that it's an Atmega 328, 3.3 volts, and we know it's on COM9, so all that is good. So all we should have to do now is to upload the sketch. We can see the LEDs for receive and transmit flashing away there as it uh, does its programming job. And we can get the message there that it's done uploading. So now we can disconnect the uh, positive rail from the device because uh, we're going to be powering it from our other power supply. So now we're waiting for the board to connect to the network and we're in that uh, first part of the delay. Now we get the ready indication and we get the response from the board that we've set up the uh, SMS mode as we as we saw in the setup routine. So now if we trigger the alarm we get the alarm triggered message and you could hear it come in on my, my phone there. And it just confirms that it sent the, the message. So now if I send the rearm message back, we can see that it's received the master SMS and the message was rearm and the board has, uh, has rearmed. Um, uh, a successful test there. On the whole, I'm very pleased with the, the project, the way that it's turned out. Um, there are a few other things I want to do um, to be able to power this from a, uh, a solar panel um, so that it's completely independent of, uh, of, the, of the power. And indeed, in some of the Corticos, there, there is no power anyway. So uh, I'll be looking for investigating how best to, to power this.